borrowing, sir. Sir, I was going through the union budget for the year 23-24. Honorable Speaker, sir, I was really surprised when I was doing the calculation, the total borrowings, the total borrowings of the government of India, government of India, the total borrowings, per day borrowings, sir, per day, is 4,895.38 crores. 4,895.38 crores per day they are borrowing. And the government of India is paying an interest. The government of India is paying per day interest of 2,958.82 crores per day. And still, still, they talk about Telangana government's borrowings. It is, I, I would say it is, it is really surprising. And I would, I would like to come on record and say that. Okay, they are stopping the progress and the development of the Telangana state by not giving the due share of the Telangana state, I would say. We have ended up in losing, sir. The reason why I, I am mentioning this is that, sir, ki I was the one in this house who was against GST, sir. Sir, earlier we had so much of taxes and all which used to come to state. But after GST, sir, everything is going to them. What is the states getting, sir? And that too, many a times, there is a delay in that. And going further ahead, sir, the finance minister has also lamented the state, the central government has broken the tradition of implementing in total the recommendation of the finance commission. By not accepting these recommendations, the central government denied Telangana its due share in finance commission's grants also, sir. Sir, I would like to point out here that the state share in devolution of central taxes fixed by the 15th finance commission is quite low. And this itself is the cause of gross injustice to the Telangana, sir. When the United Andhra Pradesh was reorganized with the formation of Telangana state, the undivided state's share in central devolution has been in proportion to its population and other indices. And now, Telangana share in the central devolution of union, ta union taxes and duties is only 2.102 compared to the resident AP share of 4.047, sir. So this is a very important point, sir. Sir, under the AP Reorganize, Reorganization Act, the assets and liability of the state and state public undertakings are to be divided in the ratio of 58 and 42, sir. That is 58% of AP and 42% of Telangana, sir. This is well clearly mentioned in AP Reorganization Act, sir. Sir, in 2021 and 2022, Telangana got central devolution of rupees 17,496 against the AP share of rupees 33,376 crores. Sir, in, tw in the year 22 and 23, sir, Telangana received rupees 19,668 crores against AP's figure of 38,177 crores. In the next financial year, that is 23 and 24, Telangana is to be provided rupees 21,471 crores as central devolution against AP share of rupees 41,338 crores. Sir, this means that the Telangana is getting only. Sir, this is my observation and I do all my research before saying anything. But at the same time, sir, through you, I would request the government to correct me if I am wrong, sir. Sir, the figures which I have just read out, this means that Telangana is getting only 50% of what AP is receiving under central devolution. And it is not in the ratio of 40 to 58, sir. It is not in the ratio of 40 to 58 percent as stipulated under the Re AP Reorganization Act. Moreover, 
the ap is getting post devolution revenues deficit grant from the central government i would like to ask those people who are championing for government of india and who are trying to divide the telangana people by their provocative speeches and divisional politics instead of doing such politics why don't you go and fight for this injust which is being done to state of telangana this would be the real service if you fight and get back the funds which are the rightful funds of the state of telangana rather than dividing the people rather than you know mixing all venom in the minds and high, ha, hearts and thoughts of the people sir in other words telangana is getting only one third share sir one third share and residuary ap is receiving two thirds of the share of central devolution compared to what undivided ap was getting as its share this is the typical example of the grave financial injustice done to telangana by the central government sir sir i may recall that when the 14th and 15th finance commission chairman and members has visited visited the state in september 2014 and february 2019 the mim has made a representation to them seeking higher devolution of central tax share grants demand revenues deficit grants for telangana state in view of its special and specific needs as a new state we have given a representation sir however both before the 14th and 15th finance commission telangana government has represented memorandum claiming that the state would be a revenue surplus state would be a revenue surplus state and it would not need any revenue deficit grant if i am wrong i may be corrected on this also sir on the other hand residuary had sought revenue deficit grant from both the finance commission sir going further ahead sir sir i would like the finance minister saab to tell us during the last nine financial years in formation of telangana state from 2014 15 to 22 23 how many times did the state ended the financial year with revenue surplus how many years sir so far nine state budgets were presented projecting a revenue surplus but each time the state ended up with revenue deficit instead of revenue surplus this is my research this is my findings this is what my team has provided and i have gone through all the details never never sir the state has been revenue surplus each time the state ended up with revenue de deficit instead of being revenue surplus sir the 16 finance commission is being constituted by central government now to recommend on the devolution of central taxes and duties over a five years period i would request the finance minister saab to make an honest assessment on state revenues so that the state can seek grants to fill the revenue deficit this is an important point sir sir we need sir we need to have an honest assessment sir this is why i am requesting this finance minister saab sir we need an honest assessment of the state revenues so that the state can seek grants to fulfill the revenue deficit sir so despite the poor track record of central government in providing central tax devolution and grant in aid to telangana the state finance minister exude op op optimism and projects ambitious figures about devolution of taxes and central grants in aid the shortfall in actual devolution and of central taxes and grant in aid compared to the budget estimate is the main cause of revenue deficit sir that is the main cause of revenue de deficit of the state it is also the main cause for the shortfall in actual expenditure of the state government compared to budget estimate year after year if i am wrong i may be corrected in this sir for assistance the finance minister saab has projected the central grants in aid to be rupees 
41,259 crores in next, next financial year, that is 23-24. In the current year budget estimate, the central grants in aid was rupees 41,002 crores. But the revised estimate is rupees 30,250 crores. Honorable Speaker, sir, it is to be noted that in the financial year 21-22, the budget estimate central grants in aid was rupees 38,669 crores. The revised estimate was rupees 28,669 crores. But the actual state grant in aid received by the state was only 8,619 crore. That is only 22% of budget estimate. Only 22%, sir. Sir, this is how the shortfall occurs in the actual expenditure compared to the budget estimate and revised estimate of the state revenues and expenditure. And this is how the revenue surplus in the budget estimate and revised estimate actually turns out to be revenue deficit in the account. This is what it is. So, Honorable Speaker, sir, the Telangana government has also been making higher projections about the central grants for various central and centrally sponsored schemes. However, the central government has been reducing the outlaw funds of the state through central schemes and centrally sponsored schemes by scrapping some of these schemes, entrusting some schemes solely to the state and changing the pattern of central and state share for remaining central schemes. Telangana, like other states, has no choice but to restrict the expenditure on the central schemes to the quantum of assistance to get from the central government, NREGA and backward area development program are the examples of reduced central assistance. So as I have been repeatedly pointing out while speaking on the state budget every year over the last nine years, the, finance, the state's finance woes are mainly on account of central government's tight fist policy towards Telangana. AP has been doing better in terms of state finances on account of higher quantum of central tax devolution, sir. On account of higher quantum of central tax devolution, sir. Central grant in aid, revenue deficit grant and assistance for central schemes. So, Honorable Speaker, sir, a matter of concern. A matter of concern is the increase, increasing debt burden of the state. As per the Telangana budget in brief document, the state public debt has risen from 2.44 lakh crore in March 21 to rupees 2.38 lakh crore in March 22. By the end of current financial year, the public debt is set to increase to rupees 3.23 lakh crore and this will rise to rupees 3.57 lakh crore by March 2024. It is true that capital expenditure of Telangana state has gone up substantially and to, and to finance this spending, the state has to resort to borrowings, partly because of shortfall in central tax devolution and grant in aid. The per ca capita debt, the per capita debt in current financial year will reach rupees 77,116. So every resident of Telangana, Telangana's estimated population of 4.18 crore carries this debt burden, sir. So there are many other issues regarding the state finance which can be highlighted during the debate on the appropriation bill on Sunday, sir. Sir, I would like to congratulate the finance minister, Saab, for the spectacular economic growth the state had achieved despite economic recession. Corona pandemic and the hurdles created by the central government, I do not want to repeat the figures cited by the finance minister Saab on the annual GSDP growth rate and per capita income during the last eight financial years for 2014 and 15 to 2021, 22. It is a matter of pride that the state GSDP growth is higher than the national GDP growth and the state per capita income is also higher than the national per capita income ever since the formation of Telangana state. Sir. For this, I congratulate the government. Sir. The state had, 
has witnessed enormous growth in agriculture sector with the paddy production increasing threefold from 68 lakh ton to 2 crore ton between 2014 and 15 and to 2021 and 22. This has been possible thanks to the expansion of state irrigated area on account of commissioning of Kaleshwaram and other irrigation projects as well as implementation of schemes for farmers such as 24-7 free power, right to bandhu, right to bhima, farm loan waiver, renovation of minor irrigation tanks and procurement of agriculture produced by the states. Telangana is the only state providing uninterrupted power supply to all sectors as the power generation capacity in the state has been augmented from 7,778 megawatt in 2014 and 15 to 18,453 megawatt now. The per capita power consumption in Telangana at 2,126 units in 2021 was higher than the national average of 1,255 units. So there are many schemes and initiatives of the Telangana government which includes Mission Bhagirata, Asra Pension, Kalyana Lachmi, Shadi Mubarak, Aragya, Aragya Lachmi, Telangana Kuharita Aram, Residential School for Minorities and Backward Classes, Overseas Scholarship, Mana Uru Mana Basti, Mana Badi, Dialysis Center, New Super Speciality Hospitals, New Medical Colleges, KCR Kit, Mission Bhagirata, Palle Pragati, Patana Pragati, SR, SRDP, T-Hub, TSI Pass, etc. Uh, uh, Moreover, several schemes have been implemented for welfare of Dalit, Adivasis, minority, backward classes, communities, sir. So one of the key objects of Telangana state and the government is to create job opportunities for lakhs of youth in the state, including the educated, unemployed and other jobless youth, while new opportunities have emerged for the youth in rural and urban areas, thanks to the various schemes and initiative by the government and the rapid growth of the private sector, Telangana youth look forward to the government and semi-government jobs. Sir. sir, before proceeding further ahead, sir, sir, I would just like to bring across few points about minority welfare budget, sir. I will not, I will not go into the details of the minority budget, sir. I'll go into the details when I would be have gone and touched rupees 1724.69 crores sir sir i thank the minister sahab but at the same time i request honorable finance minister sahab to kindly release the fourth quarter budget from the government under scholarships and other schemes sir. fourth quarter ka minority budget jo release karna hai isko release karne ki mein aap se darkhaas karunga sir sir in the shadi mubarak scheme sir during this year many beneficiaries have applied on the shadi mubarak scheme sir the number is 30006 beneficiaries sir sir and the and the last year pendency carry forward applications are double three one double two sir the total is 63,128 applications, sir. Sir, I, I request the Honorable Finance Minister Saab to kindly clear all the pending and this year's Shadi Mubarak applications which have been approved. The number is 63,128, sir. So, Minority Department has released an amount of 275 crores and additional budget for of rupees 150 crores, totaling to rupees Two, uh, two uh, uh, sorry, 425 crores, sir. So during this financial year, 27,634 beneficiaries benefited as on today and balance 35,494 are awaiting for funds, sir. Kindly, sir, release 
this additional budget of 150 crores under the Shadi Mubarak scheme and all the pending applica uh, applications will be cleared, sir. So through you, I request the government to kindly release 150 crores. If 150 crores are released, I'm sure all the pending applications sanctioned can be cleared, sir. The scholarship maintenance of tuition fee MTF, sir, sir, as on today, 13 lakhs 78,752 students have benefited since the formation of state and 455.50 crore were spent under this scheme, sir. 455.50 crores have been spent. Sir, I thank the government for this, sir. So allocation of budget of rupees 60 crores for this year, Minority Welfare Department released an amount of 45 crores and till now, 19.597 crores has been incurred as expenditure and amount of 17.75 crores is pending at finance department and maintenance of tuition fees, sir. Sir, sir, at the same time, honorable speaker, sir, the government of India, government of India may a pre-matrix scholarship be di jati thi, sare Hindustan mein, pre-matrix scholarship ko khatam kar diya gaya. Maulana Azad ke naam se pre-matrix scholarship. To main state government se request karunga ki aap itna kar rahe hai government of India khatam karti hai to aap pre-matrix scholarship ka bhi agaz agar state mein karenge to isse minority students ko bohat fayda hooga. Main aap ke ziri hukumat se darkhaas karunga reimbursement of tuition fees or RTF mein an amount of rupees 67 point 6-8 crores is pending at finance department under reimbursement of tuition fee RTF. I request that this amount may also be released, sir. Sir, about the CM Overseas Scholarship Scheme, I thank the finance minister for releasing some funds with which we were able to clear the old dues. The students who had completed their courses and in spite of completion of the courses, their fees were not released or overseas scholarship. But Honorable Minister Saab had released 36 crores with which we were able to clear, sir. But at the same time, uh, sir, at the same time, sir, I request that to release all dues up to 2022 spring and fall season students, rupees 152 crores is required. So I request, sir, if you release 152 crores, then all the crores of 2022 spring and fall season ke students tak poore ke poore clear ho jayenge main ye zarur kahunga ke ye wahid riyasat hai jahan pe overseas scholarship di ja rahi hai bc students ko sc students ko aur minority students ko main shukriya ada karunga government ka ke manlis ittehadul muslimin ki numayindagi par iska aagaz hua ye achhi hai isme थोड़े बहुत तो भी रिलीजेस कर दीजिए ताकि बच्चों को कुछ फायदा हो सकता है तेलंगाना वक्फ बोर्ड के बारे में भी कहूंगा कि थर्ड क्वार्टर बिल आर पेंडिंग एवरी मंथ 5 करोड़ इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फॉर रिलीजिंग द ऑनरेरियम मैं आपके जरिए चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं कि गवर्नर एड्रेस में जब मैंने जिक्र किया था इमाम और मौजूदों के उनकी तनख्वाह के ताल्लुक से तो मिनिस्टर साहब ने फौरन रिलीज किया इसके लिए मैं गवर्नमेंट का मिनिस्टर साहब का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं और उसके साथ ही साथ यह भी जरूर एन अमाउंट ऑफ 54.90 करोड़ रिलीज टुवर्ड्स ऑनरेबल सीएम अशोरेंस की तामीर भी मुकम्मल हो जाएगी मैं चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब का टीआरएस गवर्नमेंट का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं कि हमारी नुमाइंदगी पर तो इसके लिए मैं शुक्रिया अदा करूंगा और उम्मीद करूंगा कि जल्द अज जल्द वो कल्चरल सेंटर का तामीर का भी आगाज होगा मैं हुकूमत का शुक्रिया अदा करूंगा और दरखास्त करूंगा चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब का कि पुराने शहर का दौरा कीजिए जाम निजामिया में ऑडिटोरियम कम एंड सी दैट द वर्क इज टेकन अप इमीडिएटली सर और ये शाही मस्जिद यहां के जितने भी काम करने वाले हैं इनको रेगुलराइज करने के लिए मुसलसिल हम नुमाइंदगी कर रहे हैं दी गई है और इसके लिए भी मैं हुकूमत का क्रिश्चियन कम्युनिटी के जानिब से भी शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं सर सर ये बैंक लिंक सब्सिडी लोन सर सर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू एज ऑफ नाउ 
more than 2 lakhs applications have been received. So from last 5 years, for this bankable schemes, the applications were neither called nor any of any loan was released. So now the government has given the requests for which the finance minister has released the funds. I will release the finance minister from the funds. کہ جتنے درخواستیں آئی ہیں ان درخواستوں کو اگر ہم سب کو کلیر کرتے ہیں تو اس کے لیے تو بہت زیادہ اماؤنٹ ہونا پڑے گا کم از کم آپ ایک دو سو کور لپیہ اگر دیں گے تو ایٹ لیس بی ویل بی ان اپوزیشن ٹو کلیر سم مور دن تھرٹی تھاؤزن اپلیکیشنز فور دس لوننگ سکیم سر یہ گاڑیاں دیتے ہیں ٹیکسی وہ بھی ہے ویسی رکھی ہوئی ہے اور سکل ٹریننگ کا پروگرام ہے سر سر ایل I had made a request to the government to kindly have a collaboration between the minority finance corporation, NAC and NIFT can have a collaboration and a NAC, National Academy of Construction, they have skill developmental programs, sir. One center is there in old city, NAC ka ek center is sir, Chandran Gutte mein, mere area mein. Minority finance corporation can take over that center and run the classes and train the unemployed youth of old city so that jobs can be given to them, sir. So I am saying that there is no financial in the minority finance corporation. We train our children. And in the study circles, we also had a request. And sir, going further ahead, I do not want to go much further, sir. Lastly, sir, sir, I had requested and I had said about the irregularities happening in work boards, sir. سر بولنے کے بعد چیپ منسٹر صاحب نے وگ بورٹ کے ریکارڈ روم کو بند کر دیا تھا سر آج تک بھی وہ ریکارڈ روم بند ہے جب ہی بھی ضرورت پڑتی ہے تو ہیدر آباد کلیکٹر سے ایک آدمی آتے ہیں کھولتے ہیں کاغذ نکالتے ہیں اس کی وجہ سے کافی تکلیف ہو رہی ہے سر سر all the documents are getting digitalized لیکن یہ ریکارڈ روم بند رہنے کی وجہ سے وقف ریکارڈ کو ڈیجیٹلائزیشن بھی نہیں کیا جا سکرا ہے میں آپ کے ذریعے حکومت سے درخواست کروں گا کہ آپ وہ ریکارڈ روم کو کھلوا دیجئے اس کی پوری آڈیٹنگ کروائیے نمبرنگ کروائیے کھولنے کے بعد کون سے کون سے پیپرز تھے نہیں تو کیا بولیں گے سر وہ لوگ بند تھا اس لیے پیپرز گائب ہو گئے تو میں آپ کے ذریعے حکومت سے درخواست کروں گا کہ آپ آپ اس کے اوپر بھی دیکھیں اور رہا سوال پرانے ش ڈویلپمنٹ کے تعلق سے جی ایچ ایم سی ایریا میں ہمارے کانسٹیٹیوز کے ڈویلپمنٹ کے تعلق سے سر آنڈر بر سپیکر سر آئی تھینکیو بری مچ سر سر آن دا اشورنس گیون بائی یو آنڈر بر منسٹر فار منسپل ایڈمنسٹریشن مسٹر کیٹی راما راو سا سر وی ہیڈ ایڈ ایلیبوریٹڈ ڈسکشن آف سکس آورز سر این آئی وڈ لائک ٹو کم ان ریکارڈ and go on record and say that Zuriya di mili hai aur itni baato ko khubul kiya gaya hai kehi ga mein Katie Ramarao saab ka Chief Minister saab ka KCR saab ka shukriya da karta hoon ke six hours meeting hui hai aur phir se mein aap ke zari hukumat se darkhaas karoon ga ke Hyderabad metro train ke baare mein jal das jal shuru kariye taya khun diya gaya kal ki meeting mein phir se kahoon ga kal ki meeting mein hum ne zikr kiya taskira kiya behz bhi ki بہت بڑا مسئلہ ہے پرانے شہر کا اور وہ ہے نوٹرائز ڈاکیمنٹ کا سر سر آنڈرول چیپ منسٹر صاحب نے اعلان کیا ہاؤز میں کہ آل دو نوٹرائز ڈاکیمنٹ ویل بی ٹریٹڈ اور ریجسٹر ڈاکیمنٹ میٹنگز آر گوئنگ آن اور باتچیت ہو رہی ہے راستہ نکالا جا رہا ہے سر انڈر دا جیو فیفٹی ایٹ ان فیفٹی نائن بہت سے پینڈنگ ہیں اور کچھ پیسے زیادہ ہیں تو میں آپ سے درخواست کروں گا کہ پھر سے 59 اور 58 کا ریویو کر کر اس کو ختم کریں اور آنڈرو سپیکر سر تھرو یو سر آئی وڈ لائک ٹو میک ای ریکویس ونس اگین سر سر آئی کم فرم اول سٹی سر اول سٹی میں سر مسلمان نہیں اول سٹی میں ہندو بھائی بھی رہتے ہیں کرسٹین بھائی بھی ہیں سکھ بھی ہیں عیسائی سو بھی رہتے ہیں سر ہمارے ہندو بھائیوں کا ایک بڑا مسئلہ جو مسلسل نمائندگی کر رہے ہیں وہ لال دروازے کی مندر کا ایشو ہے کئی دن سے آنڈربل چیپ منسٹر صاحب نے بیس کارڈ اپیا منظوری دی تھی میں نے 
سینواس یادف صاحب سے بھی بات کی ہے اس تعلق سے سینواس یادف صاحب نے کہا کہ برابر بیٹھ کر کریں گے وہاں کے جو ہیڈ پجاری ہے وہ سارے لوگ مجھ سے مل کر پھر سے بولے ہیں اکبر صاحب کہ پرامس ہوا تھا سینکشن ہوا ہے میٹنگز ہوئے ہیں ابھی کام ہونا باقی ہے پلیز اس کو سپیڈ اپ کر کر جلدی کروا دیجئے اور کلیانہ منڈپم کے لیے بھی جو منادر میں منڈپم کی منظوری دی گئی تھی کلیانہ منڈپم کی وہ کام بھی پینڈنگ ہے ذرا اس کو بھی اگر آپ سپیڈ اپ کر دیں گے تو ہمارے ہندو بھائیوں میں بھی یہ بات آئے گی کہ یہ گورنمنٹ اور منلس اتحاد المسلمین سب کو ساتھ لے کر چلتی ہے اور میں یہ کہنا چاہتا ہوں پرانے شہر کے میرے ہندو بھائیوں سے بھی کہ منلس اتحاد المسلمین ہر ایک کی نمائندگی کرتی ہے ہمارا دل اور ہمارے دروازے سب کے لیے کھلے ہیں جس طریقے سے مسلمان ہم سے آ کر اپنے مسائل کو پیش کر سکتا ہے ہمارا ہندو بھائی بھی آتا ہے پیش کرتا ہے ہم ان کے لیے بھی لڑیں گے ان کے حق کی لڑائی بھی لڑیں گے اور پرانے شہر کو ڈویلپ کرتے ہوئے ہندو مسلم سکھ عیسائی سب کی ترقی کو ہم آگے لے کر جائیں گے اور میں پھر سے فنانس منسٹر صاحب سے درخواست کروں گا کہ آپ پلیز عثمانیہ ہاسپٹل کی تعمیر عثمانیہ ہاسپٹل کی تعمیر کر دیجئے اتنے دوا خانے ریاست میں آ رہے ہیں اتنے میڈیکل کالیجز آ رہے ہیں یہ بہت بڑی بات ہے میں جانتا ہوں ایک میڈیکل کالیج بنانا کتنا مشکل ہوتا ہے ایک دوا خانہ چلانا کتنا مشکل ہوتا ہے آپ نے بہت بڑا چیلنج لیا ہے ہماری جانب سے ہم پورا سپورٹ آپ کو کریں گے اور آپ کے اس مشن میں آپ کو کامیابی کے لیے ہم تعاون بھی کریں گے دعا بھی کریں گے عثمانیہ ہاسپٹل کی تعمیر کو لے لیجئے اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ چار مینار کا دوا خانہ ہے چار مینار ہاسپٹل کا بھی ہے وہ یونانی ایڈوکیشن کا اس تعلق سے بھی میں آپ سے درخواست کروں گا کہ اس پر بھی گوھر کریں اور پھر میں فنانس منسٹر صاحب سے کہوں گا کہ گورنمنٹ اف انڈیا کی جانب سے فنڈز دیے جا رہے ہیں مائنورٹی ریزیڈنشل سکولز کے لیے سٹیٹ کا شیر ہوتا ہے کائنڈلی ریلیز دا سٹیٹ شیر سو ویٹ دا آن گوئنگ پروجیکس آف کنسٹرکشن آف ریزیڈنشل سکولز فور مائنورٹی is not halted or delayed sir it is very important aur main hukumat ka mubarakbad dunga ke hukumat ne bahut hi kamyabi ke sath residential schools ko chala rahi hai residential schools kamyab hue residential schools junior colleges mein tabdeel hue aur phir ye junior colleges ab degree colleges mein convert ho rahe hain iske liye main shukriya ada karunga uske sath hi sath main kahunga ke school education ke upar bhi thoda sa tawajjuh ki zarurat hai technical education aur universities mein kai vacancies hain main ummeed karta hu ke hukumat is par bhi zarur gaur karegi aur aakhir mein sir sir main i must also point out that not all eligible jobless youth in the state have been provided with jobs